Let's prove multiplicative inverses of a standard 3 by 3 matrix in this video. Welcome to Numerical Solutions to C Problems. The property for multiplicative inverses suggests that the product of a matrix and its inverse will always be an identity matrix. In mathematical statement, we say matrix A times its inverse is equal to I. To discuss the procedure of taking matrix inversion, we use matrix A with elements 3, 5, negative 1, then 0, 1, and negative 2, with negative 2, 3, and 4. The procedure of taking the inverse contains three steps. We can start with the adjugate of the matrix over its determinant, or you can make it into three simple steps of taking the cofactor, transpose it, then divide it by the determinant. Let's start with looking for the cofactor matrix where we need to figure out their minors. But before that, we have to provide sign reversal on each minor determinant. Now, if we cover the row and column intersecting element A11, the remaining elements are 1, negative 2, 3, and 4. Now cover the second column and take 0, negative 2, with another negative 2, and 4 as the minors for element A12. Then move the covered column into the right. Then 0, 1, negative 2, and 3 are the remaining elements for A, 1, 3. Moving on to the second row and start with the first column, we leave the elements 5, negative 1, 3, and 4 as the minors for element A, 2, 1. By covering the second column this time, we have the elements 3, negative 1, negative 2, and 4, which are the minors to be plotted for the cofactor element A, 2, 2. Next is to cover the third column and get the remaining elements for the minors in element A, 2, 3. So for the last row, cover the first column and get 5, negative 1, 1, and negative 2 as the minors for element A, 3, 1. We have two more to go. So let's move the column to the second and get 3, then 0, with negative 1 and negative 2 as minors for element A, 3, 2. Now have the last covering column on the third, and elements for A33 are 3, 5, 0, and 1. Knowing all minors for the cofactor matrix, the next steps to compute for the determinants. From element A11, we have 1 times 4, which is 4, minus 3 times negative 2 as negative 6. Going down, we have 5 times 4 as 20, minus 3 times negative 1 as negative 3. Then further below, we have 5 by negative 2 as negative 10, minus 1 times negative 1 resulting to negative 1. For the second column, we have 0 times 4, which makes 0, minus negative 2 times negative 2, and that is 4. The element below is computed as 3 times 4, which gives 12, minus negative 2 times negative 1, which is 2. Then down below, we have 3 
times negative 2, and that is negative 6, minus 0 times negative 1, which becomes 0. From the third column, there is 0 times 3, which is 0, minus negative 2 times 1, and that is negative 2. The element below has 3 times 3, which gives 9, minus negative 2 times 5, or that is negative 10. Then the last element below is computed as 3 times 1, and that is 3, minus 0 times 5, or 0. Simplify each element of the cofactor matrix and have A sub IJ with elements 10, 4, and 2 for the first row. Then negative 23, 10, and negative 19 on the second row, with negative 9, 6, and 3 on the last row. Having known the cofactor matrix, we can compute for the adjugate of the matrix by taking its transpose. So the adjoint of matrix A is as follows. With the numerator of the inverse matrix already figured out, we can compute for the determinant next. So take the original matrix A, mirror the first two columns, then apply Sarah's rule. First, Take the positives by marking the main diagonals. So start with 3 times 1 times 4 to give 12. The next diagonal multiplies 5 and negative 2 with another negative 2 to give 20. Then the last diagonal has negative 1 times 0 times 3, which is still 0. Now compute for the negatives from the anti-diagonals, and that would be negative 2 times 1 times negative 1, which gives 2. The second anti-diagonal has 3 times negative 2 with 3, which results to negative 18. Then the last anti-diagonal has 4 times 0 times 5, which is still 0. Add each of these and subtract the positives from the negatives. So the determinant of A is 12 plus 20 plus 0 minus the quantity of 2 minus 18 plus 0. This is simplified as 48. Finally, we compute for the inverse by multiplying the reciprocal of the determinant with the adjoint of matrix A. This is done basically as dividing each element by 48 and have all the elements reduced to their simplest form. The last step is to work on the multiplicative inverses of matrices. So take the product of the original matrix A and its inverse. From the first column, we start on the first row. That would be 3 times 5 24 plus 5 times 1 12 minus 1 times 1 24 and this is 1. The second row has 0 times 5 24 plus 1 times 1 12 minus 2 times 1 24 which gives 0. Then on the last row we have negative 2 times 5 24 plus 3 of 1 12 plus 4 times negative 124, which still gives 0. Moving on to the second column, the first row has 3 times negative 23 over 48, plus 5 times 524, minus 1 times negative 19 over 48. This is simplified as 0. The second row has 0 times negative 23 over 48, plus 1 times 524 minus 2 by negative 19 over 48, and this results to 1. The third row of the second column has negative 2 times negative 23 over 48 plus 3 times 524 plus 4 of negative 19 over 48, again simplified as 0. For the third column, we take the first row as thrice of negative 3 16 plus 5 times 1 8 minus 1 times 1 16 
and that is 0. The second row has 0 of negative 3 16 plus 1 times 1 8 minus twice of 1 16, which is simplified as 0. Then the last row has negative 2 times negative 3 upon 16 plus 3 times 1 8 plus 4 times 1 16, which results to 1. Now it's proven at this point that matrix A times its inverse results to an identity matrix. Mm -hmm.